have any announcements to make tonight? Yes, Mayor. Uh, yes, Council Member Agrin. Yes, I just, uh, first of all, I wanted to ask a technical question. I'm, uh, is my image on the screen now or not for, our, for television? Yes, it is. Great, thank you very much. I want to uh, just take this brief opportunity to uh, announce that uh, I've prepared a resolution which by its terms implement provisions of the Build the Great Park Veteran Cemetery Initiative. As most of us recall, that is the Citizens Initiative that was adopted last May by the previous city council on which three of you sat, making it, that is the initiative, the validly enacted law of the city of Irvine. I've uh, just prepared a very brief uh, slide presentation here to take just a few minutes to uh, help communicate to people uh, my intent to put before the council uh, a resolution that would allow us to implement the will of the people as expressed in that initiative. I hope you have it on the agenda for the January 26th meeting. Uh, with that, uh, let me just proceed quickly uh, through the history and uh, status of the Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery, which is on the artist site at the Great Park. Uh, next slide, please. As most of us are familiar with it, uh, this is a, a map, an image of the Orange County Great Park, which is in the northeastern part of our city, owned by the city, 1,300 acres altogether, 125 acres uh, being the Arda Cemetery site depicted here in orange, and since nineteen since uh, 2014, uh, slated to be the venue for the State Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery. Next slide, please. Uh, that is uh, the will of the people of the city who uh, have manifested their uh, intent to put the state-funded Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery on the artist site in a number of ways uh, through referenda, through council votes, and most recently through a citywide initiative signed by 19,790 people, residents here of the city of Irvine. Uh, those signatures collected one at a time by volunteers. Next slide, please. Old people, young people, both signed and collected these signatures. Uh, it was an historic signature gathering effort in that it was virtually all volunteers who did this. Next slide, please. Again, as you'll recall, uh, the previous city council, when presented with the initiative petition, had a choice to either put it on the ballot for November 2020 or to adopt it verbatim at their May 20th, I'm sorry, May 12th uh, city council meeting, uh, which they did. And uh, I just uh, pulled out of this document two key provisions that manifest the intent of the people in signing and presumably the intent of the city council members in adopting the initiative language. And I'm going to read this here. Uh, the people of Irvine enact this measure to instruct the city council that the city's residents prefer to locate the Southern California Veterans Cemetery on the Arda transfer site and not at any other location in the city of Irvine and do so by enacting this zone change ordinance to amend applicable sections of the city's general plan and zoning ordinance. 
Next slide, please. On the affirmative side of it, the people of the city also made clear what they wanted the artist site to look like. Um, Council member Agrin. Yes. I believe you are um, asking for a second to your memo. Um, maybe not do the entire presentation at this time. I'm, I'm sorry, what about a, a second, did you say? I was just what trying to say? make it clear if you could sum up um, that you are requesting a second to your memo. Um, yes. And we would then have the discussion in detail at a later time. Well, yes, please allow me to complete my, my next few minutes here. And uh, then at that time, I would like to request a second, yes. In any event, the, this is the uh, artist site development on the affirmative side that the residents approved, uh, stating that this district is the location for the Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery, and the district will be the exclusive location for a veteran cemetery. Structures determined to be of historic value may remain, and a perimeter system of trees, trails, and gardens for use and enjoyment by cemetery visitors and the general public shall integrate the district with Great Park and adjacent uses. Next slide, please. Now the challenge really is to translate that language and to implement the will of the people. And that is the purpose of the resolution that I will be putting on the agenda with the help of another council member, I hope, uh, on January 26th. This is the Veteran Cemetery itself. Next slide, please. This is uh, an image of the Memorial Gardens as imagined by, uh, by a number of artists. Next slide, please. And re uh, retention of certain historic features, the iconic aircraft control tower, nearby hangars, part of the runway and tarmac as well. And finally, next. This is the envisioned perimeter park, the trees, trails, and various uh, historic markers and memorials to honor the service and sacrifice of veterans. This is a 2.5 mile perimeter trail that would serve as a wonderful buffer as well as edge treatment for the Veterans Memorial Park and Cemetery. And finally, next slide. Council Member Agrin, uh, this is a time for announcements and for you to request a second for your memo. Uh, again, I'm going to ask you, we don't have this item as an agenda item, therefore this presentation is falling under a, basically an agenda discussion. So if you'd like to get to um, your memo, um, we can go ahead and move in that direction. But I am going to ask you to please stop with the presentation at this time. I am getting to the memo. Thank you. Next slide, please. Madam Mayor, how many slides are in this presentation? There are three more, I believe. Oh, well, I'm going to ask our the city attorney to please clarify what Council announcement time is for. Mayor, council announcement time is an opportunity for uh, council members to announce activities that they are engaged in. And we have said previously with regard to seeking future agenda items that it was an appropriate time to ask for a future agenda item. Um, they are not a point in time to lay out an argument for a position on the future agenda item. Thank you. Council Member Agrin, if you'd like to go directly to your request to have a second on your memo, we can move in that direction. Well, very well, Mayor. Uh, just pictured on this uh, final slide is the resolution itself that I uh, made available to uh, uh, you and to the other uh, council members uh, this afternoon. It is the uh, resolution that I intend to introduce uh, on the 26th, with the help of uh, one of my colleagues, I hope, I will uh, 
uh, I will uh, stop at the moment and uh, as per your wish, simply uh, make a request that uh, a member of the council uh, join as a second signature in effect to place this matter on the agenda for uh, the meeting of January 26th. Council Member Agrin, um, I, I wholeheartedly support a veteran cemetery as do I'm pretty sure my colleagues up here. Um, I would be happy to second your memo. However, I would be happy to second it, bringing it back possibly after we receive the um, feasibility study from CalVet. Oh, excuse me, Mayor. Uh, I, I was uh, delighted to hear your remarks until you got to that last phrase, until after we hear from CalVet, well, that's going to be in May. That obviously is supporting uh, the intent of the memo and the uh, move forward resolution strategy, which is to commence construction by virtue of demolition, site clearance, retention of certain historic features, and to be able to do that within the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, I again will appeal to my colleagues if there is one who wishes to second it at this time, I would appreciate hearing that. So it could be on the meeting uh, agenda for the 26th. If not, I will submit a formal memo tomorrow morning along with the resolution and will make a formal request of my colleagues in this regard. I don't hear a second, and therefore we will move on. If there are any other um, comments or announcements